a physically challenged Nigerian brother based in Italy really needs our help. When I heard about what happened to his situation, he wasn't born crippled, but along the line, something happened. So guys, watch out for the video. Greetings global audience and welcome once again to our channel. Thank you for always coming around and God bless you. Guys, this is an awareness video, okay? Public corporates armed robbers now gallivanting on the streets of Port Harcourt in River State, Nigeria. As you can see this man on the screen, he robs someone of his money. So in short, let me read what is written here with the picture attached. I was robbed by this urban driver at Ajib Estate. And Ajib Estate is situated in River State, Port Harcourt to be precise. So he said, thankfully, he escaped unarmed, but it could save the next victim if he is caught or reported so you can see the picture on the screen guys you see how innocent looking this man is he's an armed robber parading himself as urban driver and according to the reporter he said this he drove in a toyota camry rum 916 pc so guys please share out this video pass it out because this is what they are doing now in the city of Port Harcourt. Decent armed robbers disguising themselves as corporate drivers. Okay, guys. Can you start by telling us your name, sir? Yes, my sister. My name is Friday. A Friday who? Friday is on your birthday. Ah, okay. But do you have any family here in Italy, sir? No, no. Ah, you are just alone? Yeah. No wife, no kids, nobody? Oh, wow, that's sad. Well, can you also tell us your story? Because you look like a very vibrant man and then you are Nigeria, Guinea City to be precise. And you always stay here every day, play music. And I've always listened to your music. You're very good in singing though. But can you tell us your story? Like, how come you are in a wheelchair like this and how you came to Italy? Uh, my story is that when I was small, I lost my parents. I lost my parents. See, there's nobody to help. I was struggling on my own doing this a shoemaker then before I faced the Libya route. I struggled by myself, passed that way. I know that when I went to Europe, my story will not be at the same. There must be a big difference. I began to struggle, to struggle. God hear my prayer. Okay, one question, very curious question that I know most people really want to know. Like, how did you, like, with Wisha, right? How did you pass Libya with Wisha? Because people with leg, it's hard. Like, Libya is a very dangerous thing with people that are com like are fully working. Not take less of you well, that is when in I was Libya. In Libya, that's I doing shoemaking work. Oh. I pay handset also. Oh, I saw cloth. I doing today work. That's as I was in Libya. Maybe we become friends maybe with Libyans. We become friends. So we give me answer to repair to repair for I repair it, I submit it to them, they bring you, I sold it for them, very good. They come and collect their things. We become a, a very good for each other. I spent many years in Libya before I crossed to Libya. Ah, see but okay, another question is did you go to Libya with your wish and everything? Okay, but when I come, I did not come with a wheelchair. Ah. That is European by Oh, wow, really? Ah, Lord, okay, you can walk sometimes with your leg. Okay, I can walk like this. Ah, with your hands. Uh, can you show us if you don't mind, sir, please? Okay, so like this. I put her with knees. Really? Ah, you walk with your knees and your hands, like crawling. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, in the house that you live, you live in an apartment or you live with people? Yeah, I live with one person. I the apartment. Yes, I understand. 
But if you want to do shopping, like anytime you want to do shopping, like do you have someone that help you with the shopping or you go to the supermarket yourself? Uh, if I somebody like if it, somebody like to go with me, we go together. If it is only me, I can take go together. I used to buy something to my market. If, if somebody can want to take me to, I can still go with him to the supermarket. Go buy something. Oh, that's really that's really sad. Because I normally see you anytime I'm going to work, and I feel normally I just feel sad. But do you have anything to tell today at not uh, Parara okay, news? I know it's my story like this. When I was small, I was in the two years old, playing, running around, playing like children. I was a children that time. My elder sister put me in the shoulder. They begin to play when people are playing one way like me. We just leave me for a shoulder. I don't want to fall like a place like this. Ah. So I use my uh, waist to go and hit a place like yeah. this. When my mom, when my mother come from outside, they begin to ask me, "How many? Uh, why? Why do I fall down from his shoulder?" He said that she was playing. She said, "Yes." Uh, uh, and she was the same in that time. Mm -hmm. She was the same. Uh, she put my shoulder in as a play one one. Believe me, one shoulder for Mama me. Mean. But what about your sisters and uh, are they still alive? They're still in Nigeria. Uh, but you have contact with them, right? Uh, uh, okay, no problem. So guys, this uh I've always seen him. He works in Arena in Verona, Italy. So he needs help, he needs our Nigeria help. Look, this is how he is. He's, he doesn't work as he can, as you heard him before. He said he crawled with his nails and with his hands, which is very sad. So I've uh, decided to like help him, but I don't have much. I am just a student and I also work, so I don't have much. But I decided to at least support him like every month. But if there is any other Nigerians out there that want to support me, you can please share this video, write me, and I can send you guys uh, his number. I'll put the number on the link below. You guys can reach him. Please help him. Send him something. This is one of us, a Nigerian man. He's struggling. He's not lazy. Despite the situation, he's still trying to work out the play music in arena. So please listen to his story and help him. And may God bless you all. Thank you so much.